Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Hello and welcome. This is the WHKY News for Wednesday, October 9th. I'm Ralph Mangum. The WHKY News is on over-the-air TV every weekday on Channel 14.2. And we are also online at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, a North Carolina Department of Public Safety briefing was held in Raleigh this afternoon. Governor Roy Cooper was in attendance along with officials from FEMA, the National Guard, North Carolina Emergency Management, and more. Here is Governor Cooper. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. You know, I've traveled across Western North Carolina almost every day uh, over the last couple of weeks, and I'm going to continue traveling there this week. The devastation that I've witnessed is hard to describe. Homes and businesses flooded and destroyed, roads and bridges completely washed away. I've assured families and local officials on the ground that we will pursue all available assistance for the area's long-term recovery. And for the past 11 days, we've continued a massive, around-the-clock response to this unprecedented devastation brought to Western North Carolina by Hurricane Helene. Thanks to the historic, highly coordinated effort among state, local, and federal partners and our volunteers, we've made significant progress. Power outages are now down under 81,000 from a million. Also speaking at today's event was North Carolina Director of Emergency Management, Will Ray. If you're in Western North Carolina and your cellular device isn't reconnecting to a network, as a reminder, please turn off your phone, turn it back on again to allow your phone to find a network if one is available in your area. The state's 911 centers are stabilizing, and those that need emergency assistance should continue to call 911. Please beware of temporary fiber lines while conducting cleanup operations. Finally, I want to personally thank the thousands of people that have converged on Western North Carolina to assist in this massive effort. We talk about the whole of community approach, and over the last two weeks, we have seen it put into action to support those in Western North Carolina. There are countless stories of the heroic efforts of communities and neighbors helping each other. Public sector, private sector, nonprofits and volunteer agencies, your dedication to help our fellow North Carolinians will never be forgotten. To those in Western North Carolina, we are here and we remain with you. And again, those comments are from a press conference in Raleigh this afternoon. Election Day is less than a month away, and an important deadline for prospective voters is coming up later this week. WHKY's Rob Eastwood reports. Yes, Election Day is coming quickly. The deadline to register to vote in the 2024 general election in North Carolina is this Friday, October 11th at 5 p.m. Election Day 2024 is Tuesday, November 5th. If you miss the voter registration deadline this week, you may still be able to register and vote or make changes except for party affiliation to your voter registration and vote during the early voting period. The in-person early voting period for the 2024 general election begins Thursday, October 17th and ends Saturday, November 2nd. You can find early voting sites and schedules in your county by clicking a link in this story at our website, whky.com, the link is entitled Early Voting Site Search. Locations and voting hours are also available in that same story at a link entitled Early Voting Sites for the November 5th, 2024 general election. WHKY will have election return coverage on all of our platforms. You can follow the results on Election Day at our website, whky.com. We will have election returns on WHKY Radio Election Night, and there will be a live update at 10 o'clock on WHKY News on over-the-air television channel 14.2. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. In the wake of Tropical Storm Helene, residents in six additional counties included in the North Carolina Presidential Disaster Declaration are now eligible to apply for low-interest disaster loans to assist in their recovery. 
In some counties, residents are eligible for both physical and economic injury disaster loans from the Small Business Administration, or SBA. In other counties, small businesses and most private nonprofit organizations are eligible to apply only for SPA economic injury disaster loans. All of those counties are listed at whky.com. Customer service representatives from the SBA are at every FEMA disaster recovery center. In addition, the SBA has established three centers in North Carolina where survivors can get help with their SBA disaster loan applications. Those SBA centers are also listed at whky.com. You can apply for SBA assistance online at sba.gov disaster. Applicants may also call the SBA's Customer Service Center at 800-659-2955 or send an email to disastercustomerservice at sba.gov. In the crime report today, a man is held under nearly a $1 million bond on trafficking charges, two sexual exploitation arrests in Catawba County, and more. In local sports, Jason has the latest from the North Carolina High School Athletic Association, which met to discuss options for wrapping up the fall sports season. In Community Focus, Sarah Killian has our weekly update from the City of Hickory with information on a public meeting planned to discuss a possible roundabout on Sandy Ridge Road and more. Ariana has the A&E Bulletin Board, which includes the Walk to End Alzheimer's, the latest from HCT, and some Halloween plans from Hickory Parks and Rec. Sunny today with a high just shy of 75 degrees. Highs in the low 70s for the next two days before warming back into the upper 70s Saturday and maybe even reaching 80 on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine with less than a 10% chance of rain for the rest of the week and the weekend. Chilly nights ahead with lows in the 40s. And then after a relatively warm Sunday, much cooler weather will arrive next week with days in the 60s and nights in the 30s. You can always find the latest forecast at whky.com. I'm Ralph Mangum. You're watching the WHKY News.